my channel or welcome back to my channel um this video might be a bit all over the place at the start just because i haven't yet filmed the video that's going to go up before this which is my wholesale video um i haven't yet filmed that hopefully tomorrow but there's some bits i really really want to film for the start of this vlog um some christmasy bits and i've just had an order arrive for some ribbon for my christmas ornaments i haven't even shown you guys yet I'm going to insert a clip after this of when the ornaments arrived and I've also made them up um, which will all become clear in a minute once I actually show you guys what I'm talking about. Actually, you can see them behind me. Um, but yeah, there's some bits I really, really want to film for the studio vlog. So when I actually properly start studio vlog, it might be like a week later, I'm not sure. Um, but I think I'm just going to film this clip today, which is me showing you guys the new Christmas ornaments and I've done some start on some Christmas designs as well. I was really, really stressed because I thought I was going to be so, so behind when I come to Christmas, but I have spent the last few days trying to do some designs and I feel like I'm getting there and hopefully when it comes to November, that's the start of November, I'll be fully prepared. Fingers crossed. Um, but yeah, I'm going to show you guys now the christmas ornaments that i have made which are so cute and i hope you guys love them as much as i do i'll show you them now so i've just had all this ribbon arrive for my christmas ornaments my decorations if i say decorations i mean like baubles ornaments and they're not baubles but i don't know what to call them ornaments tree ornaments um yeah i had all this ribbon arrive i'm not going to use it all obviously it's a lot um, but it was a really good deal on Amazon. It was like £15 for all of this. And ideally, I only really wanted like two of the colours. But I thought I could do some future product projects. And yeah, so I was like, I may as well order a big batch. Um, so yeah, I've got all that ribbon. And then I'm going to show you guys the ornaments. So here are the ornaments. I wish I had like a better, more aesthetic shot to show you them all. Um... But here they are. I think this is all of them. How cute. And I will show you guys. Um, I'll insert here the ornaments before the design. So you can see like what I've done. Oh my gosh guys. So I haven't even started my vlog yet. I don't know where this clip is going to be inserted into you. But I thought I needed to, needed to document this. So my Christmas ornaments just arrived. I've been designing these for so long. Um obviously there is a film on the top which is why they look scratched this is i peeled just the film off this one so shiny so basically they're all different shapes and i will be putting vinyl on top of them like my mirrors that was i gave a clue um in the other vlog saying they'll be similar to something i already make so the clue was they are going to be like mirrors mirror ornaments so i will put vinyl this one's gonna be disco ball um, that's obviously a donut and a cowboy hat, so there will be vinyl on them. I'm not sure how I'm going to do it yet. Maybe for the star, like, in a star shape, different colours. They'll be really colourful. Um, and then we've got a fab or, like, an ice lolly. We've got, obviously, a lightning bolt. Um, I use that in a lot of my branding, so I thought I need a lightning bolt. Um, a candy cane. So some of them are traditional. Some of them are more, like, funky. Um, I think that's all of them. Um, yeah. So that is all of them. I might order more shapes. I want to see how these go, obviously. But yeah, I'm going to start working on them. And, and then also the hole is obviously for like ribbon um, to tie it on your tree. So they are like tree ornaments, baubles, whatever you want to call them. But yeah, I'm so happy with them, how they turned out. And I just needed to show you guys because I'm so excited. So yeah, that was me unboxing them when they, obviously they didn't have any of the vinyl on. And then I've added the vinyl on myself. Um, but I'll show you them all individually so you guys get a proper look at them. for this rubbish angle but um this is how one of them is looking i did just tie it there at the back a really small knot um i don't know if that looks good or not how it's tied or not i don't know how to tie it i don't know if you could do like a cute little ribbon at the top but i guess you don't really see the back when it's hanging like that um but yeah i'm not sure on this color either i feel like this pink would go better or maybe a gold or silver um but um, I'm really loving the thickness, which is good. And I also love how it's glittery and I feel like that looks really cute. But yeah, I don't think I'm going to keep this pink for this fab one. Um, I'm going to try with gold and then come back 
maybe silver because it is silver i'm not sure guys i have like the contrast of silver and gold or maybe i have it where you guys choose the ribbon color or is that too much i don't know maybe i do just choose it what do we think i wish i could like ask you guys what color these are my colors that i could have I feel like I'm thinking of the gold. I don't know why. Yeah, I'll see how it looks with the gold and I'll come back. Okay, so I'm back. This is how the gold is looking. I really like it with the gold. I think that looks good. I'm still not sure about how to fasten on the back. I'm going to look up how other people have done it. Because I don't... I don't know. Am I overthinking it? Or maybe you have to tie at the top. I'm not sure I'm not sure but yeah I'm loving it with the gold and I think I'm just going to kind of see what works best with each one so for the donut I feel like the pink would look good obviously you've got like the pink and the sprinkles it's a very very similar colour um but yeah I think I'll just decide what works best whether whether I leave the option to choose the ribbon at the at checkout or I choose the colour I'm not sure but yeah i might get a second opinion but anyway either way the ribbon has come i think it looks cute i love this i love the glitter of the ribbon um i really like doing so i couldn't choose which ribbon i wanted i could have like a velvet velvety one or like string i know i know traditionally um ornaments are on like kind of a string um our ones are anyway at home but i think the ribbon just looks a little bit better um and like more like quality Sorry, my battery died because that clip ended very abruptly. Um, but yeah, basically, I just wanted to show you guys the ribbon and the ornaments. I have no clue I'm going to photograph them. I'm stressing about that because I'm, am I going to have to get my Christmas tree out early and like photograph them on there? I'm not sure. So that's going to be another hurdle that I'm not sure because when it comes to Christmas photography, it's something I've not done yet. I did have a business last year, but... I really didn't bring out many products at all. Um, hence why this year I've had to work like really hard. Or I'm having to work really hard on Christmas decorations and designs. Because I don't have any already done. I have like one listing on Etsy that was from last year. Um, which is like a gingerbread like two from sticker. Gingerbread house which is so cute and I still like it. So that's the only listing I have that's Christmassy on my entire shop. So I have to, I'm going to have to work so hard this Christmas for some designs but yeah I really really love the ornaments I'm so happy with how they came out um so yeah but I will carry on this video video I was gonna say vlog and then video I'll carry on this vlog probably in a few days um time because yeah I just wanted to show you guys that and then I'll carry on when we are working on more Christmas stuff but I need to film the videos going up going up before this so a bit of a mess but yeah I'll catch you guys in a few days Hi everyone, so the last clip you just watched was actually yesterday. I thought it might be a little bit longer until I start officially start a studio vlog, but I posted my wholesale video yesterday and I thought I may as well start the vlog here because I've actually just had my Silhouette Portrait 3 arrive. So I decided a few weeks ago that my Cricut, I love my Cricut, don't get me wrong, I love Cricut. I have a Cricut um, mug press which is amazing, but I do make a lot of glossy stickers and as Cricut owners might know, the Cricuts don't like glossy. They don't like glossy paper. Um, when it comes to reading the centre marks, it's just not great. I know there's like tips and tricks. You can, like, you can put tape on the centre marks. You can like go over the centre marks in Sharpie, but I've tried everything, trust me. And also it's just, I feel like you shouldn't have to like use tape or like do these extra things just for the Cricut to do its job and work. I don't spend extra time like going over each line, putting tape over it, like making it work when it already should. Um, it takes extra time and it shouldn't be taking that long just to cut out some stickers. So I decided I'm gonna sell it and I'm gonna get an, an upgraded um, to the Silhouette Portrait 3. Um, I haven't unboxed it yet, I've got it right in front of me. I don't know how it's gonna work. Um, hopefully it's not too easy to set up. Hopefully it's similar to the Cricut um, and I get the hang of it and hopefully when it comes to cutting glossy stickers, it just works. I don't have to fill around with the settings, the lighting, putting the lid down. It just works and it's much easier because that's what other people have told me. They said it just works. Like it's just not the same as the cricket when all the faff. It just it just works. So hopefully 
it does um but yeah i'm gonna unbox it now and uh, set it up and i need to box my cricket because i did sell it on ebay it works completely fine nothing wrong with it it's just i don't have the time to be faffing around with it when it comes to glossy stickers um so yeah it's still in good condition and everything so i'm gonna box it up to send it out but yeah i've got a new machine and i think it is also smaller if i am right it might not be i'll double check which will be a bonus because it still cuts so i only really cut up to maximum size of a letter um a4 letter and it says it cuts a4 letter hopefully it does um so that's i really need that size i don't need that entire huge machine um so if it's smaller that'll be good because it'll take less space on my desk but yeah we're gonna box it now so here she is in all her glory i'm loving the size it is it is a lot smaller um hopefully that means i can still like make everything that's what i was a bit worried about i was like yeah a4 like letter size is fine but then i'm like can i still make everything in that size because obviously my cricket is bigger but i'm pretty sure i can i'm pretty sure everything i make is smaller than that definitely my sticker sheets are like letter size um but yeah hopefully it's like the right size but anyway here she is i love the design and the look of it um so now i need to connect it to my laptop which is the next step apparently um then hopefully it's just straightforward from there and i can get making some stickers because i've got sticker orders past few days but i haven't really wanted to do them because i wanted to wait for my silhouette um because it's so much less stressful than obviously making them with my cricket so yeah hopefully i'll be able to make some stick orders and just test it and hopefully it all goes smoothly and cuts way better and way quicker so my first impression is i'm not really liking the design space i prefer the cricket one maybe that's just because it's all new and scary but i feel like it looks a bit outdated um but it doesn't really matter does it i just feel like the cricket design space just looks a little bit better and more modern um this one's a little bit confusing but i'm sure i'll get used to it um yeah i'm gonna have a test cut now and hopefully i don't yeah it goes to plan i'm really not sure how to use this i'm so confused it's not the most clear it's kind of just jumping me in the deep end um so I might have to watch a YouTube video or something, so I'm not really sure. But yeah, hopefully I get the hang of it. <sighs> it's like half an hour later. I'm really stressed. I don't get it. I don't get the machine. I don't get the software, guys. I'm so confused. I loaded in the machine. I have a cut on my... I have something to cut. Loaded in the machine. It loaded in. It said it was ready on my laptop, but nothing happened. And I'm like, is it going to cut? Are you supposed to press a button for it to cut? There's no button to press. I'm so confused. But the blade isn't in properly. I don't understand how to get the blade in. I'm just confused and I'm stressed. And I miss my cricket. And honestly, I miss my cricket. I don't know if it's worth it. The stress. Because it's already been like two hours now. And I haven't even cut anything out. Might as well do cricket. It tells you how to do it. It, you know, it's so straightforward. But the setup for this wasn't good <sighs> but everyone says silhouette is better so i'm gonna give it i'm gonna be patient with it i'm gonna give it a chance but so far cricket's better just saying but fingers crossed the setup might be stressful but once i've got the hang of it hopefully it's a smooth journey but for now i'm not liking it i'm not liking it i'm not liking it i miss my cricket Okay, so I'm back. I managed to get it to cut. Um, so that's progress. I think I'm going to leave it there for today. Just because I don't want to spend all day trying to figure out how to use it. I have stuff to get on with. So I think I'm going to leave my sticker orders for tomorrow. I'm going to look at it again. 
and try cut some stickers because I don't want to be spending all day trying to work out how to use that machine. Um, I think it is going to be more complicated to set up than the Cricut, but hopefully it will be easier to use in the Cricut and better and quicker. That's what I'm hoping because if it's more complicated and slower and worse, I will just go back to my Cricut, but hopefully it's better. Um, I think it is just a bit more complicated to, to set up. The um, software seems quite outdated, which is a shame, but hopefully I'll get used to it. Um, but yeah, I'm going to start packing orders now because I need to. And I've got two wholesale orders to do and another one to accept, which I haven't even accepted yet. I'm feeling quite stressed, as always. Um, a lot of work to be doing. And I'm going away in a few weeks, so I really need to get everything done before I go away, including wholesale. So I'm going to be working, working, working for the rest of the day as hard as I can just to feel less stressed because I have a lot of orders to be doing, a lot of wholesale orders. Um, but we'll get through it. We always do. I just need to get my head down now and work, get through it. Um, but I'll update you guys when I have the chance. So I just put my little hedge ball print on my wall and I also put um, Emily's thank you card at the top. I also have another one of hers right next to it as well, which is her older one. And then I put my little hedge bob. It is called a hedge bob because her mum makes them and her mum's name is Bob. Um, so that's why they're called hedge bobs if I say that and you're like, what's a hedge bob? Um, hedgehog, hedge bob. Um, I put it on my little shelf. I think this is my, my little like emotional support, like little hedgehog if I need like, if I'm stressed. And I need the support. I'm just going to like bring it down, have it on my lap. Um, but I think I'm going to put it there so it's like easy for me to get if I need support. <laughs> um, but yeah, looking so cute there. I love it. Um, yeah, I just thought I'd show you guys that because I've been looking forward to it and it's came. Lately it's been really confusing I just can't understand You say that you're catching feelings But I'm always left on red Ooh, no. And every time we meet So I'm currently just making up a load of phone cases. These are all Etsy orders that you can order. I have loads of phone cases on Etsy. Um, they're on my website as well. I do prefer people to order from my website because obviously there's no Etsy fee. But if the phone case, if you want to buy a phone case from me and it's not on my website, then it's probably on my Etsy, but they should mostly all be on my website. Um, yeah, got a little rubber ducky one and a little gummy bear one and I'm just printing out some more and then I have to make up some screen ones that I'm printed and that's printed as well actually. And then I also um, have started making phone charms. So 
we've got this super cute screen phone charm which is optional to buy with the case and then i also oh it's on the floor oops um have made up this cowboy boot um phone charm which goes with this phone case which obviously not printed yet um so they go really well together so I'm also currently adding these little flyers in my um, packages, which I think is like a really cute idea. So it says, my new spooky collection out now, and then I put like a little QR code there that links to my website. Um, so I put that in all my Etsy orders, just for promotion for my website. And then also if they did want to order from my spooky collection, they can go check that out. Um, I printed this on, I think it's called double sided glossy paper. I think it was like maybe 100 or 200 GSM. It's not thick. It's like magazine paper, um, but yeah, I just thought that was like a really good idea kind of to like include in packages. And then when my Christmas collection is out, I'm gonna start including it in them as well. So I'm kind of just taking some pictures. I really love this setup. I experimented with like different props in the background, um, but the nutcracker ends up being too tall that like you couldn't even really see it in the photo and then I just like the way um, the snow globe and the little pink house I got um, a few years ago looked for the photos. I might switch it up depending on the frame because I have loads to photograph, um, but I really liked it with this like gingerbread frame. So I've taken some pictures. Um, I really love how that looks. I think it's gonna look so, so, so good. Um, so yeah, I'm going to go through all the pictures. Luckily, the lighting is good as well. Um, it's not too harsh. So I'm going to take all the pictures of the frame. It's going to take me a while because I have a lot to get through. Um, and then I'm going to start arranging how I'm going to take photos of the ornaments as well. So guys, I am editing my pictures that I took. Um, I might continue editing the rest later on though because I want to get on with some orders um i feel like this isn't the most exciting vlog or start to the vlog um so i probably won't film every single day this week because it's not all super exciting um i didn't end up taking any pictures of the ornaments just because i think i am gonna have to get out my christmas tree to do that um <clears throat> i can't think of any other way i would take photos for them so i'm gonna have to take out my christmas tree it's not it's not big like three foot um but it just means I have to set up, set up my Christmas tree just to take it down again, which is like really inconvenient. <laughs> um, that's what I'm gonna have to do. It's the only way to get some pictures. But yeah, um, I also ordered from some small businesses earlier um, for my office. Not not a lot, just some little bits, which I'm excited about. So I will unbox them when they come. Um, but yeah, not the most exciting week. It's a busy week. I think when I'm busy, it's hard to make it exciting because in reality, it's just orders, um, wholesale, etc., etc. Um, But if it's anything exciting, I will update you guys. Um, But yeah, I'll see you tomorrow or whenever I should film. <laughs> Before I go, I thought I'd quickly update you guys because I managed to get my silhouette to work. Um, I had to play around and download the earlier version of silhouette because apparently the version I had was like buggy. I can't remember if I said in the vlog or not. Um, it came up with my document came up as really, really blurry on the silhouette design space, um, which was like, I don't know, I couldn't tell why. Um, but yeah, I had to just download an early version and it works so much better, it works completely fine now. And I had to mess around with the um, cutting, like um, I chose chipboard as like the material, even though it's literally sticker paper. But when I chose um, cardstock, it didn't properly cut. So I've gone with chipboard and it's cut properly. I don't know if that's too strong of a pressure and it's going to ruin the machine. I'm not sure. I'm going to have to like play around with different types of like material. But yeah, it's worked. So I'm really, really happy. And it definitely works better than the Cricut. I can see why now. Everyone says it works better than the Cricut. Um, it does take a bit of getting used to. But 
it was so much easier like once i figured out how to use it it's so much easier so much less hassle like it doesn't even read the sense marks it literally just goes around done like with the cricket it goes around it goes around it takes forever it doesn't work but with the silhouette it's literally just like so quick and like stress-free so i'm so happy I upgraded i was i was down to my decision at one point but i don't regret it and if you have a cricket and it's really, really annoying and stressful for you. I would recommend changing the silhouette. I got the Silhouette Portrait 3, if you're wondering. So it's a smaller one. I didn't get a Sin Silhouette Cameo. Um, I got the Silhouette Portrait because it's still the right size I needed. Um, but it was a lot cheaper. So that's what I got and I recommend it. um very like pink and cutesy kind of design i really really love that one and then i also designed this nutcracker bauble kind of one it's not completely finished you see there's a few gaps um i'm still finishing that one but yeah those are two christmas phone case designs that i've done so far um i'm hopefully gonna design maybe five altogether um yeah i thought i'd show you guys them and i will start making them up very very soon I also just read a comment on one of my last videos that someone commented that they wanted to see how I make my earring backing cards. So I'm gonna include that um, in this video. I might do it today. Um, I've just designed a new backing card for Christmas. So I've got, um, I've made so far Halloween backing cards, my Halloween earrings. I've got like a standard one, which is like my cyber chick card, which is like for like my non seasonal earrings. And then I've got my Christmas backing card, which I have just designed. Um, so I will make them. They're not they're not hard to make or anything. Um I, I make them myself, I don't order them in. I know you can order them in, but I do just make them myself for now. If they become really, really popular and I sell I'm saying like quite a few a week, I might get the cards made professionally, but for now I just make them myself. Um but I will include a little clip in this vlog for you to see if you're interested. So first of all, you obviously want to create your design for your earring backing cards. So I recommend leaving a space, obviously where your earrings are gonna go, depending on how big your earrings are, whether they're dangly or studs, will depend on how big of a space you wanna leave, but it's obviously up to you. Um, my earrings are studs and they are quite chunky um, because that's like what I like. I love the like chunky, um, almost like 90s jewelry. That's very much my brand and my theme. Um, so yeah that's kind of earrings i sell um so i left quite a big space for that um and then you want to put obviously your website your um social media handle i mean you don't have to but i do just because um it keeps your brand name there and they can refer back to it if they want to order some more maybe then you want to put your logo again optional but that's what i've done and then you can put some like imagery around it. i think that makes it look really fun um really vibrant so I've, I've I designed a load of imagery um, and I use the same imagery on like my phone cases, my earrings. That's just, that's, that's what I do and that's what works for me. Um, and I probably use the same imagery on other things as well, maybe mugs. Um, so yeah, I've used that imagery on my backing cards. As you can see, a lot of little mugs. Um, Mitten's very Christmassy. And then I put, you look amazing. You can put like a nice, like little quote there if you want to. The design's completely up to you, obviously. This is just what I've done um so yeah that's how you design it um i design it on procreate if you want to know my software and then it comes to printing it out so as for printing the backing cards out as i said i do print them out in office i don't get them printed professionally yet as i said it might be something i do in the future but for now i use 160 gsm if you know what gsm is basically like the weight of the card i only recently actually knew 
and learn what GSM actually meant. Um, I didn't know if I'm signed, but now I've like started buying card and papers and all that stuff. You kind of need to know like the GSM because it's quite quite important in knowing how sturdy the material is going to be. So yes, yeah, 160 GSM white card. You can get this from Amazon. That's where I get mine from. Um, you can get it from anywhere really. So yeah, just basic white card. And then obviously I'm going to print on that. And I use my Canon G5050 printer. I think I know what printer I use. And I will show you how I set that up in Photoshop. So for the printing process for my ink packing cards is I will see how big my other ones are, which I know are 8.5 by 10.8. And then I'll go into my new document and measure that out, which I've already done. So that is the same size. The reason I stick to that size is because I have cello bags in that size. Um, so I just put them in a cello bag um, if I need to, because some of them don't fit in a cello bag because the earring is so chunky. The backing card doesn't fit in a cello bag, but if the earring is small enough, I'll put it in a cello bag. Not that I need extra, extra protection or anything, just purely for like the look. Um, but yeah, if they fit into the bag, I will put them in there. That is why I chose that size. And then you obviously want to duplicate them if I can do that while I was also filming. Um, this is an A4 sheet size, so I fit as many as I can onto A4 sheet, which is four. I might be able to fit maybe more in if I did like that and then put one there. That might actually be possible um so i'm gonna try that now off camera because i can't really film and do that and see if they'll all fit in okay so no there wasn't quite enough room for them to all fit um so i can only four fit four in per a4 sheet um you want to put them in the middle of the page just so it doesn't cut it off um so like that then i'll go to oh did i press the wrong button no, i didn't then i go to print select like my printer um, and then I print for card, I print on, my printer doesn't give me like card, it gives you greeting card, but I just, I just choose matte photo paper, that's what works best for me. I do high, I probably do high or standard, I think I do standard actually, because it still prints really good quality and standard, but it doesn't use as much ink. Size A4 and then the rear tray, and then I send that to print. Here they are all cut out i will definitely say invest in a guillotine if you are going to make something like this because you want to have those neat straight sharp edges rather than obviously like hand cut um because you can tell when you hand cut something even if you think you've done a really really good job you can tell if it's hand cut where compared to like a guillotine like this this is just an a5 one it's from Memory Heaver has had like a year. I probably do need a new one actually because it's about a year old now and it's not as sharp as it used to be. Um, but it still does the job for now. So yeah, and then now I need to punch holes in them for my earrings. So I'll show you how I do that as well. So there we go, I just punched them through, try and get it off the block and then there are now two holes with the earrings fastened in them and then obviously you want to put the backing studs on them so they stay on. Um, but yeah, that's how I make my backing cards um, from home. Um, I was going to show you the pictures, but my camera is charging because it nearly, nearly died. Um, you can see here roughly like what the kind of pictures I take, I've taken. I love them all together. They look so good. They're not all on there. There's still the candy cane and the donut. Um, but they look so good on the tree. 
so I've just taken a few pictures of them all together here they are I feel like I'm showing you guys so many clips of them but I just want to like really show you them so I just had a super super exciting delivery um I designed and ordered some new notepads um so you might already know I only sell one design of notepads at the moment which is my self-love checklist but I'd love and love and love to bring out some more notepads um just because for one I have to make them once they're designed they're made and then it's so much quicker to package so i really want some more items that are like already made and also i love notepads um so yeah we've got another design coming to cyber chick um i've had this design made for like six months um and i and i just never got around to printing it i've had so much other stuff more important to do um but i redesigned it the other week i made some like changes because my style has slightly changed since then um and it's printed and it's here so i'm going to show you guys now i did already unbox it off camera because i was a little bit worried just whenever i order notepads i'm so worried that they're like wrong um but they're all fine so here are my new notepads so they're little worry jars so if you're like me i am a worrier and every day i will have something that i'm worrying about um and sometimes it can really distract me and if I have a lot to do that day and I'm worrying, it can make me really unproductive. So I thought a really good idea was to have like a little jar. Um, obviously, it's not a real jar, but you write down all the things you worry about that day. So it's not huge. So hopefully you wouldn't have like a load of worries. It's kind of like a daily kind of thing. Um, you can use how however often you want, but um, you probably fit like three or four worries in there. Um, and then once it's written down, you can just forget about it, let it go. And come back to it when you maybe have clearer headspace, you have more time, um, or you're ready to actually deal with it. So I thought it was such a good idea to really help you with the mental health. And it's also cute and just something to hopefully help you be more productive. Um, I'm certainly going to be using it. I'm going to keep on these myself. Um, so yeah, I've ordered 16, I think. Um, with my self-love checklist, I did order quite a lot more. So these will be a little bit more expensive just because obviously the more you order, the cheaper the notepad will be. Um, but yeah, they will be up on my Etsy probably very soon. And then they will be part of my website shop update um, when my Christmas stuff comes out towards the end of the month. If you want to wait till then, um, I do usually do like discounts for my website um like 10 percent off i usually do them every now and then um if you do if you never ordered me before you'll get 10 percent um off if you sign up to my mailing list so i do recommend ordering from my website if you want to wait until then if you want one um but yeah i'm so so excited to now have a new notepad um so i'm going to put these on my shelf and then take some pictures <laughs> Lately it's been really confusing I just can't understand you hey say guys, that you're the catching here. I'm actually editing it right now, so when you're watching this, it's probably the day I uploaded it. Um, but yeah, I had a really nice night last night at the fair. Um, it was nice to take a break from work. I've tried to edit this vlog down, but yeah, again, it's so long. I need to like film less, I think. Um, but let me let me know if you guys like the longer videos. Comment down below because I love watching longer videos, studio vlogs. Um, when I see a vlog is like 40 minutes long, I'm like, yes, I can watch something cozy. Um, I know some people do prefer shorter videos, so let me know down below which you prefer. And if you all prefer longer videos, I won't stress about making them that long. Um, but yeah, thank you so much for watching. Right now, we're like so, 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 so close to 300 subscribers, which is crazy. And we'll probably hit it in the next few days, um, if not today. So that's really, really exciting. Um, so if you're watching this and you haven't subscribed, please, please subscribe. I mean, the world to me. Um, we're nearly there. So yeah, but I hope you guys enjoyed the video and I'll see you for the next video vlog. Bye.